Hello everyone, welcome back. Now let's get to this pin-up pinhead look. First, I'm gonna glue my eyebrows and quickly brush them into place. Right here I'm using a pink liner and I'm going to place my lines that Pinhead has all over his face. It's best to use a photo for reference when placing the lines. And the reason why I'm doing this beforehand is just to have an idea of where I'm going to put my needles in and how I'm going to place the makeup. And I'm gonna set my face with spray and use the latex. And with the latex, I'm gonna place it within the squares. And we're gonna do this about three to four times to really raise our skin a little bit, just so we can have those scars deeper than our skin. Make sure you don't touch the pink lines. We want to keep that looking fleshy tone. And voila! Now I'm going to set my face with some Cafon D setting powder to really take off the shine of the latex and not have it sticky. Then I'm going to conceal my eyes with Morphe concealer. I'm going to place that all over the eye area, the eyebrows, just all over the place. And blend it all out with a beauty blender. And over that is some setting powder. Then I'm going to do my eyebrows with some gel liner in black by Maybelline. A small thin angle brush for eyebrows is just the best thing to use. Use some hair like brush strokes and towards the end just thicken it even more. And we are going to conceal the eyebrows underneath to really straighten those lines. Then I'm going to go in with some purple eyeshadow by Jeffree Star's Blood Sugar Palette in Rue Canal. And then use the shade Chroma to really darken up that purple crease. After that, I'm going to go in with black eyeshadow to really darken up those corners of the eyes. My eyeshadow may look messy, but that's what I'm going towards too, since my head is messy. And we cannot forget about that wing eyeliner. Now here I'm just following the structure of my eyes and really keeping them open so I know where to place my lines. And then I'm going to fill it all in inside those lines. And this should be the result. Now I'm going to use some paint and some white concealer to do the rest of my face. I'm going to place it all over and blend it all out with a beauty blender.
since we lost those lines with the white paint, we are gonna draw them again using the same liner I used before, which is a light pink. Now I'm going to contour my face using some blue eyeshadow under my cheeks and chin. And we're going to put that shade underneath our eyes to make ourselves look tired. Then I'm going to use Moonlighter and Jellyfish and place that in the eye area, my nose, and my cheeks for highlighting. I really like how this highlighter gives a bluish tone to the white. Then I'm going with the Mayor on Bruise Wheel and use these two colors and place that within the lines. And then I'm going to outline my lips with black liner. And use the shade deranged in the lips. Now it's time for the body. So I'm using a blue blender and some white paint all over the chest area. With white body paint, you really have to beat it into your skin. Now I'm going to contour the chest area with the same blue I used on my face to really deepen in some features. Now it's time to take off those pin curls. I did not film how I pin curled my hair, but I'll probably do a video later for that. And that's my hair and all fixed. I've been dying to buy these lashes so I'm very happy to use them. These are in the style called quarantine. Now I'm going with nails. I created these with q-tips and I just melted the ends of the q-tips and flattened them down and painted it silver. Sorry I did not film that. 